Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Or if you're not American, happy Thursday, I guess. Sorry if I sound a little tired. I just got off my shift at work like an hour ago. But in today's video, we are going to be going over a PC mod for MCC, which allows split screening. Now, I've been sort of wanting to make this video for a long time because I feel like no one's really talked about. I feel like that a lot of people would really be talking about this because this is something pretty revolutionary for MCC PC. Sure, there's a couple people that have used this mod within videos that I've seen, but at the same time, they don't really go in depth of how to install this mod and how this mod works, which is what I'm going to do in this video. Now, I'm not trying to waste any more of your beautiful people's time here. Go into the link in the description, click this link here where the GitHub page, and you will be able to find the latest releases of the mod. And for me, it is version 1.0.85 whatever really latest version is, click this alpha ring.zip here, save it to wherever you want. I'm saving on my downloads for quick access. Download it. Once you find it, you want to unzip it. You can unzip it with any file unzipping program you prefer. Once you do that, you can open the folder and you see there's only two folders here or two files here. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to Steam or whatever app you use or whatever it's the xbox app or microsoft store you want to browse your local files to where you are on this halo master chief collection folder you want to go to mcc binaries win64 and all these files are here within the win64 what you need to do is drag this dot dll file into here and you're pretty much set up Whenever you click play, make sure anti easy anti cheat will is disabled or else this mod will not work. And yeah, it'll pop up with a little bit of this stuff. And once you, yeah, basically it pops up with this mod already. And you can just resize it to your liking. Click this little check mark here and you can add up to four users with each of them having their own controller inputs if you have that many controllers. Enjoy and fondle with this mod as you like. Uh, thank you, Tutorial Sog. Just to give you a bit of a rundown here, this split screen mod does work with every single Halo game, and it does hold four players, no matter what Halo. That means you can play Halo split screen four player on something that is like Halo Combat Evolved or Halo 2, which doesn't have it to where you can have four player co-op. That mod breaks that limit. And if you're playing co-op in Halo 2, if you have another buddy that has the same mod, you can have up to eight players. And if you're playing something like Halo 3 or Halo Reach, which has four player co-op, you can have up to 16 players within the lobby. With that being said, I think that the game automatically limits it to 16 players in the game. So if you are playing something like custom games and you have eight players and they all have the mod installed, you can only have up to 16 players within that lobby. Also, this mod works with other mods. Like, for example, here's me playing Cursed Halo. I have like a keyboard and mouse and two controllers. I don't have any other controller for the bottom right screen. And I'm, I'm doing this with myself because I don't have any friends that would want to come over to play Halo. But yeah, if you want to play modded MCC, this mod works with that as well. Though there are some technical difficulties you might run into. Like for example, some of the spawning might not work because some of the Halo games just don't account for more than the limit has. For example, I'm using this cursed Halo clip again. There's four of us here. Two of us got out of the Pelican, but two of us die off rip whenever we spawn in. Or especially when playing mods, you might have UI issues occur. Like for example, I'm playing Cursed Halo Reach and for all the screens that aren't the main player, they kind of just drift towards the middle of the screen. But so long as you don't mind those minor technical difficulties, this is a very cool tool to use. I tried to use Steam Remote Play because granted some friends aren't going to come from states away to chill and play Halo split screen. But for whatever reason, the Steam Remote Play would not work with MCC. Even though it says that it does support it, it just wouldn't work for me. One of my friends said that was an easy anti-cheat issue and a lot of easy anti-cheat games have difficult times with remote play. But at the same time, it's disabled for playing mods. So I'm not entirely sure. If you guys have any solution to where you can play remote play, please comment it down below. I would love to get this working with remote play. But yeah, that is all for this video. Yeah, I know it's a pretty short one. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any problems. I'll try my best to help you guys. And I'm heading out. Peace.